finally we are here everybody what is going on it's ronnie pugs and i'm back again with another spider-man video game playthrough finally we are playing spider-man miles morales it's been about a month since the game's release and i finally got the time to sit down and properly start recording my playthrough for the game and as you guys can see here i have 100 percent on this one save file i haven't played the game story twice yet i wanted to save that for the upcoming playthrough that we're going to be doing right now but the sad thing is that I don't know what to name this series because, ooh, can we change the difficulty? Let's see. Yes, we can. I wanted to play this on Ultimate because that's what I did with the Raimi Suit Replay and Spider-Man PS4. Um, subtitles. Yeah, make sure those are on. What was I saying? But I wanted to wait and play the game with you guys because I've only played the game once. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this series, like theme-wise, because in Spider-Man PS4 we did the MCU replay, we also did the Raimi replay, and then even the other Spider-Man video games I've had like a specific theme for them. But it's the fact that like the suits in this game, I can't really decide what type of theme I want to do. And obviously the, the obvious answer would be let's do a Spider-Verse one, but the sad thing is that there's only one Spider-Verse suit in this game so far. I'm a bit unfamiliar with some of the cutscenes too, but like I said you guys, I've only played the game once so far, but I got a slight memory of some of the levels so far, and I think we'll be able to play this game good on Ultimate Difficulty just like we did with Spider-Man PS4, considering the game is actually pretty easy once you get all the gadgets and stuff. I gotta say to you guys, like, I know the city is alive in Spider-Man PS4, but I think with this game, like, the city is even more alive. Like, I'll be honest, this game isn't that much different from the first one, but there are slight improvements, like, obviously, the swinging, uh, the swinging air tricks. I think the traversal in this game is a lot better, considering the weather, and I honestly think that the city is more alive in this one than Spider-Man PS4. Hey, thanks. No problem. Hey, uh... You think you're gonna add that new Spider-Man 2? The key? Yeah. Maybe. New Spider-Man 2? We talking about Tasm? Yeah, I know. Hey, is Tails Bodega around here? Yeah, bright yellow sign down the block. Can't miss it. Thanks. It's pretty early that I'm doing this to you guys, so if my voice sounds a bit weird, that's the reason. But I finally got the opportunity to sit down and actually do this playthrough for you guys, because these videos take a while. I think we'll go about an hour in this episode. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with the story since I've only played it once. So I don't know what would be like the best stopping point, but I'd say about an hour for this episode would be pretty good. But I've just been so busy with like school and stuff and the holidays just passed. I hope you guys had a good holiday. And that's what we're gonna be starting out in you guys. We're gonna be starting out in the sportswear suit, a suit that I put in my honorable mentions in my top five suits list because I do like it. But it's just the fact that, you know, it obviously mimics the Spider-Verse 1, and the Spider-Verse 1 is a lot better. Here we go. Now, I forget if there was actual swinging tutorials in um, the regular story. I think there was, but the one thing about Spider-Man PS4's New Game Plus was that even when you start a New Game Plus, they still put the tutorials on the screen, so... If that's an improvement that they did for this game, thank god, because that was so annoying to just swing around and it's like, oh, press R2 to swing. Well, I already know that. I'm playing New Game Plus. <laughs> but I will say, guys, in this game, I think Miles Morales has the best swinging in any Spider-Man game. Spider-Man 2 is obviously a classic swinging system, so is Ultimate Spider-Man, even Spider-Man 3 to an extent. But I think with Spider-Man PS4, they did really good given that the last two Spider-Man games that had open world had some trash swinging. But I think they just nailed it in this game, especially with the air tricks. Like, even going back and playing Spider-Man PS4, like, I think, I don't know, like, it just, like, something feels off about it. Like, maybe it feels dated, I'm not too sure. Let's go, boys, on top of the Avengers Tower, if this was the MCU. Another thing to you guys is that since recording my last playthrough series, I have a new laptop and I don't remember all of my settings, so let me know how the audio sounds since we're early into the video. Very, very carefully. Okay, go time. 
You know, just looking at Peter Parker during that scene, like, I was reminded that when you do, which is now patched, when you do the Peter Parker glitch, he doesn't have a chin, so that was just kind of funny to see for a second. Now it's time to move him back in. Police aren't taking any chances, especially not with our guest of honor. But definitely let me know how the audio is going, you guys. One of those guys who helped Doc Doc is in there? I think so. Could be Vulture, could be Scorpion. I do think it's pretty cool that they did the Rhino for the first villain because this was in Spider-Man PS4. Like Miles and Rhino had an encounter. And of course, this is the second Insomniac game in a row where you fight like the biggest villain at the beginning of the game. Going into this too, I kind of regret looking at all the E3 footage for the game. Like, I know... Like, I know the game was going to start out with Rhino because I looked at the footage, but I kind of regret doing that because I kind of think it ruined the surprise, especially since this is one of the villains in the game. Like, there's not a lot of villains in the game, and that makes sense considering that this game is shorter, but I think I would have liked to go into it, like, not knowing what was going to happen. You feel me? Easy, easy, easy. Look at that. I will say the Venom Blast in this game, um, I guess they're kind of as OP as some of the uh, suit mods, not suit mods, but suit powers in Spider-Man PS4. Like, I forget which one, which I guarantee we'll be doing it during this episode, but like, I think it's, no, not that one. But like, the, the Ground Slam one, that's basically the Web Blossom from the last game. Like, it's that OP, especially when you start doing the uh, side crimes once you 100% complete the game and you're just sitting there fighting like normal thugs, you can end those crimes like instantly with that, with that suit pack. Let's see if I can do it this game. Oh, there we go. That was the one I was talking about. That one, I kind of messed it up at the beginning, but there we go. And another thing too, you guys, is that um, I have like nothing to spend throughout playing. Uh, I'm getting kind of distracted right now because of what's going on. But basically, throughout playing like I don't know um, the game after I 100% completed it, it said I had like three tokens to spend, but I literally can't spend it on anything. There's still some stuff I have to unlock that I noticed. Like I don't have all the stickers unlocked, and obviously I got to get that one suit that Miles Morales wore at the end of Silver Lining, which I'm so glad that's in the game because I predicted that would be in the game. And, um, maybe I have to spend it on that, I'm not too sure, because I didn't start New Game Plus yet, you guys, you guys know this. So I'm not sure if I actually have to buy the suit, or it's like, I'll complete a level, and then it's automatically unlocked. Not buy the suit, but you guys know what I mean, I gotta craft it, collecting a bunch of stuff. There we go. So if Die Hard is a Christmas movie, does that mean Spider-Man is a Christmas game? Now this is something that I'm really glad they put in the game because Rhino is probably the most destructive Spider-Man villain. And last game, um, they basically had Rhino confined the one area. In this, he's going throughout the entire city through buildings. This is the type of character that not the type of character, but this is the type of levels that you should have for a character like Rhino. I'm trying to remember like the last time somebody chased Rhino through the city. I want to say it was like Ultimate Spider-Man, maybe. And I do, I do like that portrayal of Rhino in that game, even though he's not the traditional Rhino. 
But I think between like all Rhino levels, maybe Spider-Man 2 is my favorite. The Spider-Man PS1 one is alright, but like, um, I don't know, I, I don't like fighting him in one space. Like, I want to fight Rhino out in the open because he's, he's the most destructive Spider-Man character, basically. Like, he can do the most damage to the environment. There we go. Now this part's really cool right here. Get out of the way! I can't see! There's a rhino in the way! Now I know the game's supposed to be outdoors, but like the one- There's the Insomniac logo, but like the one thing I'd like is like... If you could just like go through this post-mall damage, that would be really cool. Like, even if you're just walking through it like this. There we go. No playing in the street. Ooh, I almost missed that QTE up for a second. Not bad. Holiday rush during COVID. The last six Christmases, I was locked behind 30 feet of steel. I intend to enjoy this one. Now, this is a mall display for Santa. Like, some malls, they don't even have a big display like that. Too easy. Maybe he's a weak minded. Oh! Hey, Jonah, looking good. Very fast. Menace! A feckless, treacherous, unhinged. So Jameson's office is in the mall? It's gotta be really cool for like the Spanish speaking people that play this game. In high school I took French, which I'm not that great at it. I can recognize words, but like I can't have a conversation. But I think eventually like I would like to be fluent in another language because it would be a useful skill to have. Like I like when you're younger you're like, oh I'm never gonna use this, why am I even taking it? But like it's a really cool skill to have, like speaking two languages. Or even multiple languages. Hey, are you okay? Now I might be mistaken, but I think this is the same place that you fight uh that you fight Vulture and Electro in Spider-Man PS4. Yeah. Might uh need a minute. Let's go. That truck looks like a Sam's Club one. Ooh, I probably should have grabbed that. But like I said, you guys, I have no idea what to do for this uh, this series, so I think I'll just take one of the comments from the videos, depending on which suit you guys want me to use, but um, if I do that, the one thing I don't want to do is like do repeat suits. Like I don't want to play the entire series like using uh, like the Spider-Verse suit or something like that. If we're going to do it this way, I'd like to be able to switch it up like each episode. And thank god there's no undie suit in this game, because I did not feel like using that. <laughs> But speaking of suits, the one thing I was hoping for um, for Christmas, or at least the holiday, was that Insomniac was going to do something similar to what they do with the rainy suit, and uh, like drop the hoodie Spider-Verse suit on the holidays or something. Because I'd say that's the one suit that people really want. I'm not sure if they can put it in the game because of the rights with the Jordans, but um, I don't know. If they can get rights to doing a bunch of other stuff, I see no reason why Nike can't give them rights or anything. I mean, even you could do the suit and just take the uh, swoosh off. But I definitely think the replacement shoes that they put in this game for the suit, I'm not feeling them at all. I know they released them uh, in real life, you could probably make an outfit out of it, but honestly I wouldn't wear them. If you guys got them, let me know. Let me know how you guys like them. Last Spider-Man shoes that I got was the uh, Vance collab. They did the slip-on with like a, 
It was like the John Romita Senior style artwork. I ended up selling those because I didn't really wear them. But those were some pretty nice vans. Although I don't really like the uh, slip-on vans. Like, I much prefer the old school ones. So if they made those, I probably would have ended up keeping them. Ooh. There we go. So there's still a bit of a... Uh, like, uh, control hints on the screen. Like I said, I don't remember if they did that for the web swinging at the beginning of the game. But, uh... Maybe it'll get me more familiar with the, uh, Venom Strikes and stuff. Let's go. See, this one is OP. This is basically the, uh, Web Blossom for this game. The Web Blossom in Spider-Man PS4 is super OP. I really like seeing this stuff right here. It reminds me of, uh, Doctor Strange. The portals and stuff. Speaking of Doctor Strange, man. Where's he at? There are way too many rumors for Spider-Man 3, which if you guys are wondering why I haven't really covered them, it's just because like every day it seems like there's some new crazy rumor, which, you know, anything could happen. Like we got Jamie Foxx returning, we got Alfred Molina returning, anything can happen. But it's just the fact that like I don't want to report on every single thing. I'm not going to report on it until it's confirmed. Because I did do the video on uh, Willem Dafoe and Thomas Hayden Church returning, which we've heard nothing from that so far. And it was reported that they were like close to signing with the film or something. Like, if they were that close, it would have happened by now. Like, we would have gotten a confirmation. For now, it's just a rumor. But I'm really curious to see what they do with Spider-Man 3, especially since Kevin Feige at that Disney thing said that uh, it's going to tie in the Doctor Strange and WandaVision. Or they're going to lead into Spider-Man. Remember when people said Peter was going to die in the game? Give me a break. They're going to kill him off after one game? What is this, Batman vs. Superman? Let's go. First boss fight of the game. I gotta say, the suit looks really good like this. Like, I like how there's rifts in the pup coat. Let's go. You were just doing it earlier. Let's go. So I think the goal with fighting Rhino is that you gotta do like the Venom Strikes and then you're able to get him. Or you gotta wait until he strikes you and then you jump on his back. I like the generators in here though, it reminds me of Spider-Man PS1. I forget if they play into the boss fight, we'll see. But that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Uh, from this. And I know Brian Indahar, um, his favorite game was Spider-Man PS1. I think a couple of the other Insomniac guys said that it was their favorite game too, so maybe it was inspired from that. Let's go. There we go. Got that finisher ready. Ooh, game kind of glitched out right there. But I am recording on a new laptop, you guys, since the last time I ended up doing this series. The laptop I had before was in really bad shape. Like, I can't use it without a... Like, it's always got to be plugged in. Right now, the laptop's not plugged in, which is good. But I do like this laptop a lot. I just haven't set up the Elgato for it yet. And it's kind of the same with, like, recording videos, too. Like, I don't have the proper microphone settings that I've had for uh, my previous videos, and that's basically because the program I used, they kind of changed some things around, and I was using an older version of that program on my other computer. So it took a while to adjust all the settings. There we go. Grown-ass man getting beat by a kid. Let's go. Ooh. What? He got me? No way. There we go, finally. And there's a reference from the previous game. I gotta say, the one thing that people say about Spider-Man PS4 is that the level between Miles and the Rhino is the scariest in the game, but I would say MJ and Tombstone. Like, I don't find Rhino as threatening as Tombstone. It'd be a great Christmas present to New York if you just stay down. 
There we go. The shoes don't look that bad on suit, but like I don't think they'd be something that I use casually. There you go, Peter. I just did your job for you. And there's the main villain of the game. Or at least part of it. Guys? Wow, just You know the cool thing that I wanted to point out too is that Insomniac is doing a good job at making lesser known villains more popular. Like they did it with Mr. Negative and Spider Man PS4 and now with uh, this guy and Miles Morales, which I actually thought he was an original character because I've never heard of him before this. I think he's from the comics, that's what I've heard. But he just hasn't been used, so he's either new or he just hasn't been used enough in the comics. wanted to thank you, both of you, taking down Rhino? Solo? You are going places. Was he watching us the entire time? Thanks, but he's still dangerous. Nah, we'll hold him for the police. You know, I always think these super troopers are overkill until something like this happens. Oh, Judy calls. Hey, uh, really great to meet you both. <laughs> Future's looking bright. Hello. Hey. He's right. Yeah. Let's clear out. Let the police do their job. Oh, yeah. so now you can swing yeah, okay. your way, Peter, after I just did your job for you. Faking his injury? I never noticed too that he's on that billboard right there. Electricity. Wow. Gotta be honest, a little jealous. Hey, look, I got nothing on the OG. I'll say, you guys, that? obviously the little face little isn't as good as John Bubniak's, oh, but it looks fine. Yeah, like I've gotten used sorry. to it. Like I obviously I prefer John Bubniak's you. look. I'm not gonna be around. I don't really mind Ben Jordan's, uh, the way he portrays Some Peter Parker now. Like, I think it looks fine uh, in this scene. People the that are sitting there What's commenting the on all the Insomniac posts, like, oh, we need to bring back John Bubniak. Y'all need to get over it, bro. Oh, half the time he's wearing his mask. Who cares? Not half the time. I would say majority of the time he's wearing his mask. I screwed up today big time with the helicopter. But then you delivered big time. You saved my bacon, Miles. I got lucky. Hey. I did this gig for eight years. I don't know if it's just my TV though, but like, I would say Peter Parker's hair looks a bit lighter. That is how you like it does look brown in the scene. What's this? Christmas present. But first, you gotta take the oath. I hope it's a Turbo Man. Um. Okay. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. That's it. That oath the real thing. Totally. Definitely didn't just make it up. See you in a few weeks, Spider-Man. New York's only Spider-Man. And New York's only superhero because none of the other characters are around. I'm New York's only Spider-Man. All the Avengers are on the West Coast playing a dead game. 90 players, I think? Which I ended up di I did get that game for Christmas, you guys. I know it just ripped on it. I'm curious to play it, especially since Spider-Man's supposed to come out like January or February for the game. I am curious to play the game. I've only played the beta. I really like the swinging scene right here. I'll probably get a copyright claim because I got that with uh, the Warbly Jets in Spider-Man PS4. Alright, so I ended up editing the part out where, uh, where we swing just to avoid uh, any possible copyright claims. But the one thing I wanted to do is like change the suit at this point, but from looking at this menu it looks like you can't, which is, is kind of sad because I think it would be cool if he gets a different suit from Spider-Man, but it looks like he'll get the Great Responsibility one, which it's a decent suit, but the thing is like when it comes to playing these games and you got like a ton of alternate suits to choose from, I don't want to wear the one that is basically the classic suit, which is basically what this is, except it's a cheaper version of it. How's it looking? It's not bad though. Whoa. Miles Morales, congratulations. Cheesy horn noises. To your very first super suit. Let's go, boys. Head up down. So I wonder if uh Yep. 
now is when you can uh, unlock it, which I, I, I guess we'll use that for the rest of the episode. Miles is probably cold as hell now. I'll let you know when I find it. There we go, and we got a trophy for that. So I guess for part one, we'll, uh, we can use this suit for the rest of the video because I haven't used this suit yet. Which I kind of, I kind of wish there was more suits in this game. I think there's about 20 in this game. Um, I ended up doing my top five. I should do a top five worst. Do you guys want to see that? Is there enough to do a video on that? Um, but also I did a tier ranking of uh, how I feel about each suit. If you guys haven't seen that. So skipping the cutscene, Miles Morales started with uh basically the classic spider-man suit with more layers and now he's just wearing the mask with his normal clothes so thank you for the mask peter i guess it was a gag gift do y'all remember when everybody was saying that this girl was going to be the tinkerer she's basically a less annoying screwball now i don't really like doing this Basically because it's just so boring considering we got to go through tutorials again And I understand why they did this because this could be somebody's first spider-man game if they didn't play the first one But like I don't want to sit through this like this is the most boring part of the game. I think I do think this training is a uh, it's a bit uh, better than what they did for spider-man ps4 like, I like th that Peter set up holograms and stuff. Ooh, I got hit. There we go. I was about to go after Peter up there. I will say that my favorite of these to do is the stealth uh, challenges. I think they're better than the Taskmaster ones. Like, it seems more realistic, too. I mean, I know Taskmaster could set up stuff since he's a villain, but, like, I don't know. I think it makes more sense for, like, Miles to do this kind of stuff um, with Peter's training. Instead of just, oh, go over here and there's a bunch of random thugs doing the exact same thing five times. The dude in the yellow hoodie reminds me of uh, Saints Row. Maybe it's the purple on him. Just to spike Peter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, we gotta fight both. I forgot about that. I actually don't think I've seen that uh, finisher before. <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> it is so satisfying to pull stuff like that down for some reason. Like, even with the towers in Spider Man PS4. There we go. for the tech thieves now to fix a training sim thank god we don't have to do any puzzles or anything like that in this game thank you insomniac for taking that out they were cool to do one time but they eventually got um boring and that's kind of something that i noticed that they did for this game too like they improved upon like the slower parts of the games like I don't mind the mj missions and stuff in spider-man ps4 but like they were a bit they were a bit slow this is something really cool right here, the Oscorp thing they put in the game. I wish for um, Spider-Man PS4 Remastered, they ended up putting that in the game just to make the city more accurate. The suit is actually pretty cool. I think the one thing he's missing though is the gloves. I think I prefer this over the ESU suit. See the wall crawling still broke? Get some kind of new suit mod unlocked, Venom Shield. 
You know what? Let's buy that one because it says I still have uh, stuff to unlock. I can't do it yet. Activity tokens and tech parts. See, these are still locked too, so like, I wonder... Do I gotta get to a certain level? I think I'm maxed out, unless they did something different for uh, this game. Not this game, but for New Game Plus. Alright, I can't unlock anything right now. I guess it's because I bought the suit? I take the suit over the suit mods any day. Okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna run. Plaza first, then home. Remember, Venom Power. Press me, go. I will say the one thing I like doing in this game, um, you guys, more than Spider-Man PS4, is swinging, though. Like, I really like swinging around in the snow. I think the game looks kind of weird during the daytime when there's snow on the ground and the, the sky is just really clear. I think I would rather prefer to swing around in during the day in Spider-Man PS4 because the city just looks, um, like, it looks better since the ground isn't covered in white. But for any other weather, I, like, I would love to just swing around in Miles Morales more than uh, Spider-Man PS4. There we go. And another thing, too, is that they changed the suit, actually. They did Brooklyn Visions over, uh, I think he went to Midtown in Spider-Man PS4. Hi there, I'm Simon Krieger, and what you're standing next Scary to as hell right there. is a new form reactor. Once activated, this reactor will supply enough energy to power all of Harlem. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, Simon, how is that possible? And the answer? Tell me how. Just one and there's your devil's breath for the game. Fuel source is enough to supply Harlem with clean, safe energy for the next five hundred. Okay, I'm not sure if it's just my TV, but this seems really bright. Like I can't figure out what's going on right now. It is too bright on the screen. I'm not sure how it's going to be on your guys' end. For a planet powered by Newport. Rocks on. We're here for you. What was that? This looks pretty cool. Hmm. No sign of anybody. He broke a bunch of stuff. Maybe they were looking for something. I don't know. What were they looking for? Where do I even go in here? I forgot. Over here. Huh. They did a search for new friends. What was they gonna do with it? I gotta say, I think I like fighting these guys more than the uh, inner demons in Spider-Man PS4 too. Much better than uh, the Sable people, which this kind of reminds me of the Sable people. Well, actually, Roxxon reminds me more of that. But I haven't really gotten annoyed with these villains like I did with, uh, like, I don't know, maybe the Hammerhead Brutes and uh, the DLC. You guys, I played Spider-Man PS4. I think I played it four times. I played the DLC once. I didn't replay it again a second time, man. I cannot with the, uh, like, the villains in there. And plus, the DLC is just pretty boring. I don't think there's going to be DLC for this game. I forget if they announced that there, uh, there won't be any. But I think if they do add something to this game, they're just going to be adding suits. Which hopefully they end up doing soon, because I'd like to be able to play in the Spider-Verse hoodie suit, especially with the suit mod that, uh... Ooh, that was a cool takedown. Especially with the suit mod that does the same animations from Spider-Verse, which I'm glad they ended up making a suit mod, too, because I think it would have been pretty, uh, pretty annoying, like, using the Spider-Verse suit, and it just doesn't fit the game. Not in the sense that, like, the suit doesn't look like it fits the game, but just, like, the animations look all wacky. Which I do think is pretty cool that they, uh, they ended up doing the same animation, but I'm glad it's optional. Like, I would much prefer using the costume from the game than, uh, using the animation, if that makes sense. There we go. I know I haven't done a review for the game yet either, you guys, and a couple of you guys requested that I uh, end up doing a review. So, ooh, she had a mask on. Social distancing, let's go. But I think, um, where are these guys at? Oh, there they are. I think what I'll end up doing, though, is um, I'll finish the game, and then once the credits start rolling, I'll give like my overall thoughts on the game. 
That way we can kind of just sit through it together and then I can tell y'all what I think as we go along too. Uh, you were right. it's a break -in. Like now is it just me or do you guys think the voice for Gank Lee sounds a lot like Peter Parker's? Like there were times throughout the game when I was first playing it where like I thought Peter Parker was talking to me. Like especially when you're swinging around the city and Gank tells you uh, like the things you gotta do. Yeah, I think I definitely prefer this suit over the uh, ESU one. Probably because, I don't know, this one reminds me more of the Quick cha uh, Change Spider-Man suit from uh, Spider-Man PS1. Because in that one, he's wearing a jacket and stuff. Which is what Miles is doing the same here. He's wearing a hoodie. I, like, I just think it looks better. Now, another thing to you guys that this reminds me of is uh, the Avengers game, when you, uh, assuming the beta is the same as the game, I think it's the second level where, uh, is there somebody over there? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, they're still up there. I know y'all saw that L3 over there. But this reminds me of, uh, the level where, uh, the second level where it's, uh, Miss Marvel and the Hulk, and they're going to that one base, I think it's the main base. I'm curious to see how the game is. Because I've, I haven't heard, ooh, photo mode accident. I haven't heard good things about it, but I'm curious to see how it is. Like, I'm not necessarily a gamer in the sense that I buy, like, every big new game when it comes out. Like, I'd say I'm a casual gamer, especially since, like, the only games I really play are, like, whatever interests me title-wise. Like, something that I'm familiar with, like Spider-Man or even Star Wars. And then I play the sports games in Call of Duty, and that's about it. Like, I'm not playing, like, a bunch of, uh... I don't know, like, I'm not really big in the game. I think things look cool, but it's just that I, I never get to the point where, like, alright, I need to do this, and I need to start playing all these RPGs and stuff. Which I should probably gain more. That way I can expand my channel a bit more, right? Let's see what we got here. They were tracking new form shipments, but why? on security. They can take it from here. Yeah. Gotta look into this later. Not bad. I gotta get home. Christmas dinner is sounding pretty good right about now. I'll look into that group and the new form shipments tomorrow. I really like that the game takes place around Christmas though, or at least a, a, a portion of the game does, because this would be pretty cool to come back and replay during the holidays, and especially since the PS5 just released, and a lot of people are going to be getting this, um, well not are, but they did end up getting Spider-Man for Christmas. Congrats Miles, you're out of your Spider-Man suit already, all you have to do is take the mask off, and of course roll the neck down. I'll say the one thing I don't like, though, is that uh, once you finish that one mission where after you complete the game, Miles Morales ends up going home, you can't go back into his house, which is completely stupid in my opinion. Because even in Spider-Man PS4, after you uh, after you finish the story, you can go back into the fee shelter. Like, I find it silly that you can't go back into Miles' house, especially like with all the Easter eggs that they got thrown around here. That is an old-ass TV. Look at that. Yankees stay in a couple of weeks. Gonna be a lot of late nights working. Man, on sleeping on the floor, bro. Get that man a couch. What was that? All good. A little spill. Get it cleaned up real quick. All good. I don't think I actually right, saw where a uh, gank was sleeping Ay, the first time I played the game. Me. So I think I just assumed that he lived with Miles and his mom. I invited a guest tonight. Can you get the apartment ready? Oh, um, maybe put on some music, set the mood? Ah, oh, Nadja. Really? The campaign manager on Christmas Eve? Well, tomorrow's rally isn't going to plan itself. Thanks for getting the apartment ready, mijo. Hello?
Hmm. No records. Hey, mom. Where's dad's Where are the records at? Uh, I think they're in uh, Miles' mom's room, right? Thanks. Yeah. She just said it. For a house this small, this is a big ass bathroom. My average child account since I started this hero thing. Like this is the size of like somebody's dorm room in college. Guess mom's not done unpacking either. Mom got a messy ass room. Screens of Wella. And what's that? Huh? Must have gotten mixed up in the move. Oh my God, the prowler. Who's the prowler? Wonder if Dad ever caught the guy. I will say too, like I think before the game was coming out, like uh, people were mad that the uh, I think that's the one I ended up playing um when I first played the game. So I don't know. Let's look and see if they got that new Playboy Cardi album in here. I think this was Uncle Aaron's. We'll use this one. It's Christmas Eve. We also never got rid of it. How is a man gonna buy the record and never play it? Let's take this one. But I know people were kind of upset that like th there was the comic that uh, released uh, the Prowler. Like now that's from Spider-Man PS4 game. right there. Who is the Spider-Man? If only you knew, Ma. He's a criminal. That's who he is. What is the pick, DJ? The greatest record ever. Now I hope these aren't copyrighted songs. Haven't heard that one in a while. It was Uncle Aaron's. So the man just borrowed his records, never played them, and kept them? Fifteen years in Brooklyn without a stain. Then we moved to Harlem. Might be a sign. Do you guys put presents under the tree before Christmas? Because, like, in my family, like, I don't know, we don't put them out until uh, Christmas Eve night. Like, I know there's some people that, the second they get them, they'll just put them under the tree. Like, I think that ruins the surprise, in my opinion. Christmas like a Brooklyn Christmas. I miss hearing them say that. Which I hope you guys had a good Christmas if you celebrate it. Mine was pretty good. Miles, could you get that? Of course. I do like the holidays a lot, you guys. Like not just Christmas, but like the other holidays as well. Like I like getting into the spirit. Ben? Hey. Fix your doorbell. <laughs> so Fix this damn you. door. How are you? It's been like Months. A lot's changed. Yeah, it really has. Is that our guest of honor? Come on in, you two. Dinner's almost ready. Ben, I'm so glad you could make it. Thanks for inviting me, Miss Morales. <laughs> <laughs> we missed you. Well, this one especially. <laughs> uh, hi, Ben. This is Genki, my friend from Brooklyn Visions Academy. Genki. This is Finn, my best friend, <laughs> my other best friend. This is Ned Leeds. Yeah, you guys won the middle school science fair at County, right? You made a, uh, energy, energy converter. converter. Jinx. <laughs> oh. uh, we made an artificial sun that blew up half the city. The breaker. Gracias. So, Christmas by candlelight? I promise I didn't break it when I fixed your doorbell. No good. Breaker doesn't have power. Looks like the whole block's out. Maybe Finn Let's should fix it because the power went out as soon as she got in here. Okay, Definitely can't get to the transformer from here. Unless you're super Now, if Insomniac was cool, which they are pretty cool, but if they were cooler, they would have made this an alternate suit. Nobody cares what you're wearing in this game. Like I don't see why we can't get like a Peter Parker skin or a Miles Morales skin in the games. On the roof. Can't go up there. Really hope no Hell no. Me up here. Don't look out the window. Don't look out the window. I'm gonna climb right here and they're not gonna say anything. Maybe I can jump it. Bioelectricity can take down Rhino. But can it save Christmas dinner? Come on. It worked. Man, those lights are bright. Did not think this through. It'd be funny as hell if he just electrocuted like himself. Now, of course, we can't climb on top of the roof and just take the shortcut. We had to climb 
all the way around the building again. See the wall crawling still still pretty good in the game. Keep them distracted, Genki. One thing they definitely need to do for Spider-Man 2 is fix this wall crawling. Come on, Genki. Is Miles still outside? Actually, oh. uh, what about a photo? <laughs> right now? Yeah, you know, precious moments. You gotta capture them. Shouldn't we wait for Miles? No, he hates photos. <laughs> All right, everyone squeeze in. Ready? Great photo, great photo. Oh, hey, Miles. Uh, who's ready to eat? You guys sit down. That shit look this. good. Mm, I think after this holiday. Finn, tell us everything you've been up to. You still in robotics club? I had to quit. But I've been studying bio I had robotics in, I, not the club, but it was a class I took, electronics. I think that was in 11th grade. Basically, the uh, like assignment that we had to do for the end of the year was um, like build a robot, and you were supposed to compete in something where like it picks up rocks and stuff in this arena that they built. Ours didn't win, but it was still fun to do. You went for Simon Krieger's jugular. That reminds me. Genki, you have a certain flair for social media. Could you spread the word about tomorrow's rally? Yeah, we'll be trending by midnight. Sometimes it feels like Simon Krieger's my real opponent. Roxxon has so much influence here, but they don't answer to anyone except their shareholders. Harlem needs someone to fight for the community. That's Mom's campaign speech voice, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> Uh, you want to proofread these before I post them? Yes! Do not hit send! <laughs> so, what's going on with you? What do you mean? You seem... I don't know. Distracted. You want to talk about it? Not tonight. It's Christmas. Hey, how are you handling the move from Brooklyn? I mean, it's fine. Ugh. You hate it. No. Nah. That's your, I hate it, but I'm too nice to say it voice. No, it's, I don't know anybody here. I'm always having to ask for directions. You need to find a good restaurant, a barber shop, somewhere you can shoot hoops. You'll settle in. Maybe Puff's Barbershop? What if we hang out tomorrow? Just the two of us. You're not too busy? It's winter break. I can put off homework for at least another week. Okay. I'll text you. It's a date. I, I mean, not a date. Uh, you know, a, a friend date. Still as smooth as the last time I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Miles friend zoning himself. You hate to see it. How does he sleep that way with the sun right in his eyes? So I stayed up You're telling me that doesn't wake him up, but Gang Say Miles does? He's got a crazy custom OS, nothing I've ever seen before. But I ran it through a disassembler so I could reverse engineer the plugin architecture and. Uh... You just fell asleep again, didn't you? Miles! I'm up. I'm up. It's almost uncompiling. No, I think this thing that they did is pretty cool. I like the friendly neighborhood Thank system you. that they did in the game. Ready to try out my app? Yeah, man. Let's do this. I'm connected to your analytics. 
Oh, I never noticed that. That's the suit screen. That's pretty cool. Let's go. Oh, you got to swipe. I forgot. Swipe to the left. Welcome to Friendly Neighborhood 1.0. It lets New Yorkers directly request your help and report crimes in progress. Nice UI. Thanks. Look, someone just made a request. request oh, I wonder who that could be. Aaron Davis. Wait, what? That's my uncle. Does he know you're Spider-Man? No. Gotta be a coincidence. Uh, I'm headed to the subway stop. I think that I want to point this out, you guys, real quick, since we just swung past it. Whoever designed this court needs to be fired. You really thought you could fit a full court basketball court right here? Where are you gonna put the hoop? Remember when people were saying that uh, Aaron Davis wasn't gonna be the prowler in this game? Like, come on, you guys. See what's going on with the subway? I'm Spider-Man, by the way. Yeah. Is this my nephew in a Spider-Man mask? Doesn't he have that same jacket? And he goes to Brooklyn Visions Academy? Up top of Grand Central. On my way. Wait. Wait. Yeah? Where's the other Spider-Man? Oh, he's on vacation. What, am I not good enough for you? I got this. Maybe you should call some of the Avengers in that tower that are never here. He definitely didn't recognize me. Oh, calling through that? That's where you're wrong, Miles. Hey, forgot to mention, there was a break-in last night right next door at Roxanne Plaza. Group called the Underground. Caught them hanging around my stop this morning. The Underground? You know anything else about them? They think of themselves as a young monster. They've been around a while, but now they've got a new boss. See, I love the swinging in this game, just for those air tricks. So, uh, you call Spider-Man often? Like for help? <laughs> Didn't really have a way to get in touch to this app thing. But I saw you on the news last night taking down Ryan. Figured you were the right person to call. <laughs> cool. Have you, uh, been working at the subway long? Nah. Took the job I want to say to you guys, at least on my TV, it could be a bit different well, anyway, on the capture. I was trying to make some but the reason I don't like really swinging during the daytime is just because the city looks way too bright. Like, it looks weird having the ground white, and then, um, barely anything in the sky. You can tell your boss you showed initiative by using the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app. I'll do that. Good luck with the sensors. Oh my god, what am I doing right here? There we go. A bit awkward, but we made it. To Grand Central Station. Grand and Central. There's the sensor. Too many wires on this one. It's got to be messing with the signal. Where do these cables go? Open this door. Gotta get inside that shack. Hey, yourself. Let's go. So with New Game Plus, I wonder if we're gonna be uh having to open those chests again. This is crazy tech. Hate to do this, but senses are back online. What did you do? Took care of the guy messing with it. And it looks like they left some of their toys behind. I guess so, since it's a part of the story. Hey. I'm gonna have to call you back. Whoa. Then I can use this to make those hollow drones Pete designed. Huh. It looks like there's a bunch more of these around the city. Okay. Makes sense. Perfect time to try out those new hollow drones. Do we actually have to try them out since we already unlocked them? I don't think so. 
take the easy route. Bro, this game is so easy once you uh, unlock everything and play on ultimate difficulty. That could bite me in the ass later on, but still. Which I think you actually end up getting a trophy for playing on ultimate difficulty, similar to uh, Spider-Man PS4. There we go. That shouldn't have worked. Okay. Both trains are running again. Why did that take Should longer than needed for some reason? Where am I supposed to go now? Up here? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Davis. How are things looking now? I've got a signal, but no trains on the tracks. It must have gone down at the yard. It was the underground messing with your sensors. I'm thinking. Does Roxxon ever use the subway to ship new form? Roxxon? Uh... The subway system was designed to carry. Yeah, you guys let me know how the picture is too, like brightness wise. I might have to tone it down. So they could be using it under the table. Hmm. I'll follow up on it. So uh you mentioned your brother. Ooh. You got other family? I haven't seen them in a while. I had to make some changes. Like taking his job. I miss him. Especially my nephew. We used to mix beats together. Well, maybe now you can see him again. Then your family. Hope so. Yeah. Uh, I should go. Fight underground. Bye. Oh, this is the train track part. I don't really like this part of the game. These type of games always start out slow because they want you to get familiar with uh, some the mechanics and stuff and what's going on. Underground's wrecking everything. Maybe I can stop them quiet. Do I take them out quick or? Uh... I don't know. Now he should be dead. There is no way. At least all of his teeth should be broken right there. Did that thing not explode because we were in the uh, finisher? Another thing too, you guys, I know you noticed, but like... When they throw that type of stuff, it doesn't explode when you grab it. Like if I did L- Ooh! What?! Are you kidding me? I was not paying attention to the health. All right, let's try this again. This time I'm gonna speed through it. Speed run time. Now that was a cool finisher right there. I think he just bounced off this uh, barricade. Finally, jeez. Ooh, let me get that assist on my finisher. There we go. Is that all? It is, let's go. That's all of them. Now to get the trains back on the tracks. The controls are probably in the office. I think it's just... Okay, we gotta go to the office first. 
tinkerer. Monk said that's their leader. Must be pretty obsessed with their leader. Oh man, they read the controls. Gonna have to get the trains back on the tracks by hand. Or web. I can use that. Now this was the one I didn't like doing because I don't know, this is just boring right here. Reminds me of Spider-Man 3. You guys remember the underground levels in that game? That works. Almost there. So what's next? I think I just pulled this one down, right? No. There we go. And one more. Looks which like is shades, where? Then kills the subways. Maybe they're trying to stop new form from reaching the city. Do I have to pull it? I think. What? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then one this more. one I pull as well. I swear to you guys, though, in the Spider-Man 3 game, there is a level exactly like this, um, with the Mad Bombers. I gotta connect three trains. So, what do I do with the last one? It's this one right here, right? No. Gotta move another train, just like the first. Which one, though? Maybe I did do that one incorrectly right there. Maybe I need to, uh... Okay, so now let's try this. Yep, and then we take this chair. What? Are you kidding me? Pushes him back that far. And then we take this one right here. And then this gets moved and they line up correctly. Okay. No! I don't want to do this. Okay. Push from this end. And we should be good. Now they need power. Hmm. I forgot they do those animations, which is, I think it's pretty cool. I know there's no fall damage, but, uh... Oh, come on, I pressed the buttons. There we go. Okay, I can use that to power the trains. Probably. My webs are conducted. I can, right? Uh, now I, I hate doing this part, too. Which, that one's pretty easy, but, like... Playing the game the first time, I had some difficulty connecting everything, especially during the final fight. Let's go. Now, it would be cool if we could go in the tunnels, but we can't. Cool, cool. I'll head back now. I forget what he gives him, so this will be pretty surprising. Now the face looks fucking hilarious right there. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not mad about it. Like I just think it's funny that people are blowing it out of the water. It's not that serious. And plus, by the time the second game comes around, and people uh, spend more time with Peter Parker, and the story's pretty good. Everybody's gonna be like, oh my god, I love Ben Jordan as Spider-Man. I wish they would've put the uh, ice rink in Central Park. Which is, may, let me see if I can find somebody. But like, parts right here, um... There are people that ice skate on the pond, but um, Central Park has the uh, like big ice rink that they do every winter, at least from what I've seen. I've only been to New York once, and uh, it was during the summer, but I know in, um, I've seen it on TV. Like Home Alone 2, there's a scene where they're at the ice rink here, which I actually prefer Home Alone 2 over the first one. Let me see if I can find somebody. I don't see anybody right now. We'll make it a goal throughout the series to find somebody ice skating. Or at least playing hockey on the pond.
Swinging really low right now. Oh my god, my swinging is so bad right now. There we go. OP Venom strikes throughout the game, folks. Hell no, they're not. Just relax, Uncle Aaron. I know what I'm doing here. See, look, it's like added time when, uh, I'll get them. when you end up grabbing it with the webbing. Which I think when you play on ultimate difficulty, it just should be the same time. That way, uh, ooh, that was a huge hit. That way it's more impactful, I guess, or more intense. Ooh, I got hit. I died again. Are you fucking serious? Not a good start to the series. But it's a good thing we aren't dying during the important parts of the game, like during the boss fights and stuff. All right, let's run it back. There's more on the upper tracks. Uh, I'll get them. There we go. We just missed that. Uh, missed that punch too. Nice. There's more? Jesus. I think the goal here is just going to be getting the bombs. It kind of sucks to you guys because I'm playing uh, with my headphones in the computer, so there's kind of a delay in the audio. So I guess like doing the finishers and stuff isn't as impactful. Um, I know you can hook up your uh, you can hook up your headset to the controller. But I'm not sure if that's going to uh, make the audio go through the controller. At least on the playback. Oh my god, I got to get these. Get off me. There we go. It should be all of them. Last night you learned new forms getting shipped by train. Then today you attack the train. Why? To stop new forms? To steal it? Oh man, we were about to die a third time. Jeez, man, you're telling me that punch or that kick was that powerful? Come on. Wow. <laughs> no way those hits are that strong. Maybe the ultimate difficulty is a bit more challenging than this. Oh, so I gotta disable the bombs again? Are you serious? There we go. I want these. I'm grabbing the sewer tops. This is who had our number last time. Let's get rid of this. Ooh, okay. I know y'all just saw that. The police actually did something. They didn't just stand around. I really need to get familiar with these uh, gadgets again. 
Nice. You did it, kid. Trains are back. Underground's done. Good work. There we go. I was expecting us to meet Aaron again. I didn't know if yeah. we had to swing to it. To you. I forget it was a cutscene. Oh, hey. here you go. And here's it's where the bombshell gets dropped. Subway pass. Thanks. Did I get the name right? How did you? Um. Okay. Gotta go. Hold up, Miles. I kind of suspected when I saw the news yesterday. Why didn't he just tell him no? Your moves on those escape cons. Juking guys left and right. Could have sworn I was back at the park playing pickup with you and your dad. You were quick then. Now I think um now, I think it's during the scavenger hunt level that they actually uh, take you back to when they were playing basketball. I really like that part of the game. I think that's my favorite uh mission in the game. It kind of reminds me of uh, a Spider-Man PS4 level where Peter gets evicted from his home. He just got to swing around doing stuff. So you taking over for the other Spider-Man? It's just a touching level. Like I said, he's just on vacation. Right. And he left you in charge. Yeah. A lot of responsibility for a kid your age. I can handle it. Hope so. But listen, you get in over your head, you give me a call. I'm here for you. Got it? Got it. Thanks, Unc. I didn't notice that the uh, strings on the jacket, they end up, uh... Like they change with the way you're sitting. Genki said the app's blowing up. Is he still in here? Let's see. It. it looks like it. Should patrol for a while. Okay, so something I didn't notice, uh, like playing the game the first time. Does he just sit in here the entire time? I think we're gonna have to look at that in the next episode. I want to get a picture with him. Oh, that would be so cool. Okay, thanks for the tip. Oh, Mom, I wanted to ask. Since you know everything going on in Harlem right now, have you heard of the underground? Uh, yes. They've been vandalizing Rock After this property, phone call. And I think they've been... That works. Kids around the neighborhood. Why? But they didn't try to get... No, no. Uncle Aaron told me about him. Uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, ran into him at the subway stop by our house. Did you know he's working there? No. Now, it would be perfect if I could get, like, right here and do that. But, of course, the game is going to glitch out and not give you the, um, perfect, uh, spot for it. Look at this. He used to come by our place all the time. That's for Aaron. Give me one second. Sorry, honey, we're still setting up. It's all good. Go save the world, Mom. One vote at a time. Have I ever told you you're my favorite son? I've got steep competition. Love you. Bye. All right, you guys, so I think I'm going to end it here. We went for about an hour and 15 minutes, according to my computer. Um, I appreciate you all if you made it this far. It was really fun to do this again. Hopefully, I can record the second episode on Wednesday. It's Monday right now. And let me know what suit you guys want me to use. We have them all unlocked. I don't mind using any of them. If you guys want to see it, I'll just pick one. Maybe if one of the comments is the highest voted, I'll use that one. Or I'll just pick it by random. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Follow my social medias. And I will see you guys again in my next video.